Unify have just released the Cloud Gateway Max, and this can run all of your Unify OS applications, network, talk, protect, and even access. This comes as the latest addition into their lineup for their Unify Cloud Gateway setup. So let's take a look. And you can see them side by side. We have the Cloud Gateway Ultra on one side and the Cloud Gateway Max on the other. Disclaimer right at the start of this video, I don't have this product yet. It's coming in a few days. If you wanna see a full review, do hit the subscribe and like button and you'll be notified when I release that review. For now, we're just taking a look at the specs and seeing what's available on this unit. The Cloud Gateway Ultra comes in at £95 and the Cloud Gateway Max comes in at £267 and you can see straight away that you have some storage options at the bottom of the Cloud Gateway Max. They both have 2.5 gig WAN ports on them but the Cloud Gateway Max has 2.5 gig WAN ports across the back so you have full 2.5 quick gig across the four ports. Just taking a physical look at the device as well, you can see just on the left hand side just here, you can see where the SSD is going to be sat in versus the Cloud Gateway Ultra. There is nothing that's there that seems to appear. And if we go up and we spin these around, you can see there's the slot for the NVMe SSD. Whereas if we look at this, there is no slot on there. The other thing I did notice also is the cooling because it's running more applications. It's going to give out more heat from the processor. So you can see on the Cloud Gateway Ultra, there doesn't seem to be any fan slots at the bottom. However, going to the Cloud Gateway Max, going back, you can see at the bottom of the unit itself that we have air vent slots in them as well to allow the heat to escape from the unit. Looking at some of the specifications on this, so you can see they have exactly the same in terms of capacity. So you're looking at 30 plus unified devices in terms of management and 300 clients worth of support. The Cloud Gateway Max allows one and a half gig worth of routing versus one gig IPS IDS on the Cloud Gateway Ultra. They have multi-WAN load balancing, which is the same and both USB powered. Let's jump down to the technical specs quickly so we can have a quick look down here. In terms of size and weight and build, it's exactly the same as we've come to expect. It has the same ARM Cortex A53 1.5 gigahertz processor. Again, the same. This is where it slightly differs. It has three gig of RAM in the Gateway Ultra and four gig in the Max and 512, which is the option we've selected in terms of storage and 16 gig on the Cloud Gateway Ultra. Now, the big thing that you need to know between these two is it runs the full Unify OS stack on the Cloud Gateway Max. So that includes Protect, that includes Network, that includes Talk, that includes Access as well. Again, as I mentioned, full review coming. This is just a quick look so we can have a look at the specs difference between the two. One thing I'm still not seeing is there's no PoE on the Cloud Gateway Max. So there is an additional need for a switch having a look at the preliminary specs on here. One option you do have is you can buy a floating mount as well. So you can get that, that just sits nicely against your wall. So you don't have to have it sat on your desk. This isn't available for the Cloud Gateway Ultra, but I'd be intrigued to see if it does fit the Cloud Gateway Ultra anyway. What are my initial thoughts of the Cloud Gateway Max? Well, for the value for the money, you're paying an extra hundred pounds to be able to run all the Unify OS stack. And that could be good value for money, depending on how much you are looking to run. It can be scaled up to two terabytes in terms of storage, which is great. But the question is, can you add in your own storage or is it something that comes pre-configured from Unify directly? Again, this is something I'll look at when I get the full unit. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below what you think of this unit, how well you think it'll work within the Unify lineup. And if there's something specific you wanna see in the review, again, let me know down in the comments. I hope you found this video useful. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.